Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Monday night call. I'm so excited tonight because I'm pleased and honored that we have Dr. Kareem Allen on the call with us. And uh, he is, let me, Dr. Kareem Allen is a researcher and practitioner in natural health and nutrition for over 35 years. She is an expert on how to affect brain, learning, and behavioral problems without drugs. She is a recognized healthcare leader for her natural and practical approach to health regarding um, concussions, traumatic brain injuries, dyslexia, uh, ADD, autism, Asperger's, learning disabilities, academic and behavioral issues, and brain injuries. After receiving her doctorate in nutrition, Dr. Allen went on more training in neurokinesiology and brain stimulation techniques to help her daughter, who was brain injured from asphyxiation, oxygen deprivation uh, at birth. She now offers other families the kind of life-changing information and care she so desperately needed and searched for for her own children. Dr. Allen's vast experience includes nutrition, allergy balancing, neuro-emotional release, essential oils, total body modification, homeopathic, magnetic and electromagnetic balancing, herbs, nutritional supplements, quantum energetic techniques for brain and body health, neurokinesiology, and neurodevelopment. Whew, I need to go drink some Masia after just saying all that. But we're really pleased and honored to have her with us tonight. And uh, we've actually come up with some questions that we thought would be quite beneficial for all of you to be able to listen to and, of course, share to any of your prospects and downlines. So um, with that, Dr. Allen, I'm going to unmute you right here. It's great to have you on the line with us today. Great. It's great to be here tonight to share with everybody. I'm excited to what we're going to learn. Wonderful. So Dr. Allen, um, so cellular balance is the key to health. How do we get optimum cellular balance? Uh, my whole life, my whole practice has been about how to balance because if we can balance and we can balance with nature, we can get the results that we're looking for. But as I moved along in history with um, learning about the body and learning how to heal the body and learning how to heal the brain, I realized if we didn't have optimum cellular repair um, we weren't going to be able to do it. And it wasn't enough. You have to have the nutrients plus the redox signaling molecules. I became really good at putting the nutrients together for the systems, detoxing, rebuilding, and got some amazing results. But I, I have to remember, and I encourage you to remember, that your vitality is a, re is a reflection of your cellular health. And your cellular health is then a mirror or a reflection of the redox quantity and your redox health. So when people say to me, I'm healthy, I think, okay, what does that mean? Because we tend to call ourselves healthy and our belief is that we are healthy because we don't have constant pain or we don't have abnormal tissues going out of control and we might call ourselves healthy even if we go garden or we go running and we have sore muscles or we can barely get up when we get on the floor and uh, we're taking the occasional meds, we still call ourselves healthy. We still might have irregular sleep. We might eat what we consider to be a healthy diet and consider that those things that we eat just don't matter so much as long as we pay attention a little bit to that. A lot of times we call ourselves healthy and we get vitamins at the local discount stores or we get them online or we listen to that TV show or the magazine and we take those vitamins and think we're doing ourselves a good job. We call ourselves healthy when we're on anti-anxiety or depression, sleep medication or pain medication, constantly or infrequently. The point is that we're dumbed down and we don't know what it's like to be vibrantly healthy. And we, as a group of ASEA associates and ASEA people, are helping people to understand and educating people into what is the real meaning of health and how to regain it and how to gain it. So it's very exciting to share these redox signals with them because it's at the core of it. So what you're really saying is the quality of our health is determined by... The, the quality of our cells. 
And a lot of this is review for you, but I find that the more I review it, the more I get it into my second nature. And so you're going to hear things that a lot of you are already savvy on, but you're going to hear it in a way that perhaps it'll hit in a new spot in you. And what I teach my group is to look for one-liners. And so when I'm on the phone with somebody, I have my little list of one-liners up here. And it might be just what I want to say to them. For example, I might say, this is the cheapest life insurance you'll ever have. And that's a one-liner I picked up from somebody. So look for those one-liners tonight. But um, the quality of our cells is really the most important thing. So, Dr. Allen, you've been in practice as a nutritional consultant for over 35 years. In those years, how often have you come across a new category of health and wellness or a scientific breakthrough? I would have thought, I probably would have said I had, but when I really look at what a new scientific breakthrough is, it's a no, new field of science. It's, it's a whole new way of healing the body. It's a way that's effective. It's a way that's knocking out the past, going to the future. It's um, what I was looking at was products that were wrapped in new formulations. They were extracted differently. They're potentized differently. They're upgraded technology. But basically, we're all looking at the same basic products wrapped differently. For example, I find new glutathione's, antioxidant juices, stem cell activators. And all these were very important because when we work with the brain, we need things that are going to make those brain cells activate and stimulate and get in, give us a new brain. But I was really only seeing old technologies upgraded and their stories retold, like bone broth. We've all seen that come back to life. That's kind of from our mother's age. Studying uh, the ASEA technology, and when I really, really studied it, I realized this wasn't a new rendition of an old product. It wasn't an old discovery brought forward. It was truly a new discovery. It was so significant that it has given us a whole new field. And I tell people this all the time. You know, you need to look at this because it's brand new. We didn't grow up with this. Our mothers didn't teach us about it. Our schools didn't teach us about it. No matter who, we need to learn it on our own because it's so significant in our health. Mm, I love that. So I don't know anyone that's not aging. Um, darn it, we all go to bed at night and we get a day older. But, you know, I tell people I can't wait to go to bed at night because I get younger looking every day. But anyway, how do we retain or keep our health as we age, Dr. Allen? One thing, we've been trained in the health field, in the medical field, if we're looking at natural things, to look at antioxidants, and we know that's become a huge thing. But we've got to look at it as the oxidative stress and the oxidant, antioxidant defenses. And it's the two of those in balance that we've kind of missed um, because we must have support for maintaining and restoring that balance. That's the key to aging. So as we age, we know what, it, what happens. We get stressed out. We have all the toxins coming at us. We inundate our lives and weaken our defenses. The normal cellular functions decline. The body's natural abilities to produce and maintain that natural balance of redox signaling molecules goes down. And most people don't know this. And you'll meet people that don't care all they want to do is feel better, but you'll meet people that really do care and are really trying hard to feel better and to feel better into their 70s, 80s, and 90s. But as I found, you have to work a whole lot harder. I was doing more juicing, more, more fasting, trying to exercise more, trying to do all these things to catch up with the clock. But whether it's allopathic, naturopathic, nutritional, holistic, these training sciences, have, they don't have the answers. So you mean we actually do have something that can help our aging process? Yep. And when I discovered this, because you always heard of the fountain of youth, and wow, little did I know, and every woman knows this who's tried these products, with our drawers full of products to get rid of the wrinkles, to get rid of the cellulite, to drop this, to drop that, I have never seen a product that's so phenomenal. And it's doing it because it can cause the repair, the recovery, and the protection of our redox signaling molecules. That's the key. And even when you take a nutrient, a nutrient cannot 
do all of these things. It might be able to help repair. It might be able to help uh, support a missing nutrient, but it's not going to be able to do the recovery, the repair, the protection of the cells and give us these redox molecules. So all of us that don't feeling our age and getting on into that age, aging process, I say get your antennas up and look for those people and look for the people that are getting it at a younger age because you know what we're seeing today is that we're seeing young people with old people diseases. So it's part of the aging process too. They shouldn't be having these kind of problems as young people. Interesting. So folks are always interested in ways to use ASEA. What ways have you found to be the most effective for people? Um, when I first started, there was, I didn't have a whole lot of information on how to do that. And so I kind of found my way with the basis, which you can do too. The basis is it's non-toxic. So I started pushing the envelope. So let me tell you how I push the envelope. I tend to get pretty serious cases that I work with. And I learned some of this baseline from doctors like Dr. Campbell, Dr. Kendall, Dr. Carl Schmidt, Dr. Walker, and doctors who have been in the company and gone before me, and I kind of got a baseline of what can be done and, of course, the safety studies. So I took it out there, and I'll give you a couple examples. I have one little six-year-old boy who has been set up for a liver transplant when he was one. He's now six. We work with him through our brain camps. We worked with him with home programs. As soon as the ASEA came into my life, I put it into his life, which has been a couple of years, and he's been progressing quite well. But through a variety of circumstances, he uh, had to have his gallbladder out. And as a result of that, they took his adenoids and then had to um, take care of the complications because he started bleeding internally up from the adenoids. They raced him to the Salt Lake Hospital, life and death, did another surgery. The next day, he started oozing from the gallbladder surgery, another life and death. They told the mom, single mom, your child's not going to make it. We don't expect him to get through this surgery. So we got him some ASEA. Thank God it was nearby as they were airlifted, so they didn't have time to get it. So we were able to get it to them. And she started taking it, and he took it. And guess what? This six-year-old took two ounces every hour. She put the gel on him every hour, and she did the three times in five minutes. She did the spray in the mouth to balance the meridians. And the next day, he walked out of the hospital to go home because his blood, sh blood levels were so normal they couldn't justify keeping him. Oh. Amazing. And so the dosage and the difference, to me, is the difference between getting slow results and fast results. And whenever I'm talking to somebody on a three-way call, or new and they have a real issue I don't mess around I say look if you don't get it that it's going to take a higher dose and you're going to have to look at this is kind of like you're going through a treatment center you know you're going to put out a short period of time a little bit more money and you're going to work for those results and then you can back off but um, since toxicity um, is not an issue even with children or adults who are very ill, I have no problem working with the dose. And since my specialty is brain health, I work with a lot of brain injuries and um, learning problems and functional issues, and I still, um, I will recommend that they will double the dose after a while. If they're having things like panic attacks or anxiety attacks, it tells me they don't have molecules in there to take care of that stress, that inflammation that's causing that, because I feel, and I have research to back it up, that those things are coming from brain injury. Um, I have a client with very serious spinal cord uh, problem. Her spinal cord was leaking. And she was having pressure in her head for quite a while that was severe. So we got her some ASEA. She started it two ounces the next day, no pressure in her head. She has been... On the ASEA now, working up, we just put her up after maybe a week and a half to eight ounces a day. That, to me, was miraculous. So you'll see those times when two ounces works and did what I never thought would work. And so, but I told her, you're going to have to go for this. You're going to have to make this is a serious problem. And then she's following up with the nutrients. And I must say the nutrients are extremely important. 
again, we need the labor, we need the materials, we need to do together, we need to work together. And so I prep them and tell them, you you got to know your whole body. You can't just do redox molecules, you got to have nutrition. And that reminds me of the analogy that our dear Dr. Carl Smith has brought up. And I love it. A lot of us have used it where you have the labor and you have the materials. You know, you take the beat up homes from the home program and you have two weeks to get in there and clean up those houses. And that's like the cleanup in our cells. Well, if you don't, if you have all the materials laying there, which is all our nutrients, which a lot of us are doing, and which I was doing, I was taking all these nutrients, all these vitamins, all these things. And there was no way to get them to work efficiently. I was doing some, but not enough. And so he calls that the labor. And so we've got to have the labor in there to get those molecules to be able to work. Remember, they're protecting, they're replacing, they're rebuilding, they're repairing so that the nutrients can do their job. And it's amazing how people can cut their vitamins if they're indeed on any vitamins. A lot of times they'll give me their list and I'll go, well, you're duplicating here and you really don't need this. And if you move to this one, which is the ASEA via source or the, I call the Life Max a brain supplement because it has a lot of factors in it that restore brain connections. And I'll say, if you'll do this, you'll get a lot further than you will if you're doing what you're doing, which most of the time they're picking up themselves. So... We want to include that missing link for people, and this really is a missing link. If we can think of that as the missing link, we've got to put it together for them because they're out there looking for something to connect to them, and they're not getting it to finish their health process. That is brilliant. I love that. You know, you had just touched on what, you know, what I said, what have you seen happen in your practice with you when you put the materials and the the signaling molecules together, and you touched on that, so thank you. So, Dr. Allen, you've had a brain center and have been conducting brain camps for a number of years. Tell me how ASEA has changed or helped your clients that you've been working with. Um, the, the key thing is that they're getting faster results, and we take, again, back to the dosing, we'll take three-year-olds. We get them as young as two or three with autism. And we'll put them on <clears throat> the ASEA dose, maybe an ounce or two every hour. While they're in the, the therapy sessions, which might be eight to 10 hours. And mind you, these little kids get to sleep during the day whenever they want. But the other thing that I think comes to my mind here is a lot of times people say, and somebody just asked me before the call, how do you get babies to take it? And I said, you wrap a towel around them, hold them down, and shove it in. In half joking, but not totally, because we gently wrap these kids in a towel. Now, these are out-of-control autistic children. Wrap the towel around them so they can't throw it away from their face. Take a syringe, put it into the mouth, put their head back gently, and let them swallow. And you know what? It takes about two or three days, and they're opening their mouth like a little bird and taking it. And this case was uh, the one that this gal just asked me. It was a baby. And I said, babies love it. You don't have to worry about babies. Just take a dropper and put it in. And another thing you're going to see is take the spray and spray it and spray as much as they want. And Dr. Allen, of course, a C is not a treatment or a cure for any condition, disease, or malady, right? But when our 75 trillion cells start to work together, amazing things start to happen, right? Yep. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Well, Dr. Allen, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to uh, leave everyone on the call with? I think what comes to my mind is push the envelope. A lot of times we're afraid to tell people what they need. Um, I, I tell people unequivocally, this works on everybody. But I say, because research says it works and everybody needs this, does that mean you will get the healing that you need? I say no. It's totally dependent upon you because it will be the time and the dose. But I tell you, I have never, ever, ever had one product that I can promise you will work in your body and it's because the redox signals are native to your body and they are missing in your body because you have all these symptoms.
Well, Dr. Allen, thank you so much for your time tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs>